It's been a while since I made a video about decluttering and I wanted to go back to the basics today. Decluttering is an ongoing process, which is why I feel like it's important for me to revisit these topics every once in a while. My workspace and the areas that I spend most of my time have been looking pretty messy lately. So I thought this was a perfect time to talk about some ways that I handle clutter and some minimalism rules I've been living by. But first, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Here we talk about minimalism, frugal living, tech, and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you and you end up liking the video, be sure to like and please saran wrap the subscribe button's toilet. Let's get started. Start with easy decisions. And I definitely feel like this is just the best way to get started. What I like to do is identify the easy wins by looking for the items that I know deep down I no longer need, love, or even use. These could just be things I've had tucked away for a long time or things I've even thought about in ages. And by focusing on these easy decisions, I'm constantly getting quick wins. And I specifically choose items that I can decide quickly on to keep me from overthinking. And by making swift and confident decisions, you'll build momentum and encourage yourself to tackle more challenging decluttering tasks later. Put away before putting down. This is obviously as simple as it possibly gets, but it's extremely effective in keeping most of my spaces completely organized. It's really easy to just throw things down on the closest nearby surface when I'm done using it. But the thought of having to put something away later that is already in my hand just doesn't make sense to me. I would always be surprised by how much time I spend straightening up, putting away a jacket I left on my chair or a bag that I just left on the counter and completely forgot about. And at first it was a lot of conscious effort, but now it's pretty much muscle memory to just put things back before I even set it down where it doesn't belong. Because while this keeps everything just a little bit less cluttered, it greatly reduces the time I actually spend cleaning when that time comes. Use the one minute rule. Now, I know there's a dozen rules with all different numbers when it comes to decluttering, and there probably is already a one minute rule, but this is my version of it. And it kind of rides off the idea of just putting something away when I'm done using it. For me, the one minute rule means completing a task or chore immediately if I know it might take me about a minute or so. And a perfect example is with dishes. Dishes for me seem to pile up so quickly so I've made the small step of just cleaning them and putting them away as soon as I'm done using them, rather than watch the sink slowly pile up and know that there's gonna be a lot of dedicated time later to cleaning up that pile. It's a small trade-off of having to spend a small amount of time cleaning immediately or spending one large amount of time cleaning less frequently. By taking a few moments to address quick tasks as soon as I notice them, I just overall maintain a cleaner, more organized living space without ever getting overwhelmed with large cleaning tasks. Create a dedicated clutter-free zone. And for me, I think it's really important to have at least one area that I keep clutter-free virtually all the time. And for me, this is my desk slash work area. I try to keep this completely squared away as much as I can 24 seven. And mainly that's because that's pretty much how I need it to be in order for me to stay focused. I might have a problem. Because in those instances where I just can't get everything cluttered and organized right away, I'll at the very least have control over the area where I need to be the most productive and focused. Oh, I sweat a lot. Setting a simple rule like this for myself has proved to be really effective in giving me that extra little motivation I often need to start decluttering in other areas. The daily reset. And the daily reset is pretty much my way of saying, if I can't get everything straightened up or decluttered today, I need to set myself up for success tomorrow. Even if it's something as small as getting my bag ready for work tomorrow or preparing a protein shake for the morning, I'm setting myself up with a bit of a head start for the next day. Because I definitely have days where I'm just too exhausted or not in the right mindset to follow the rules that I set for myself. But if preparing myself for a better start tomorrow is the least I can do, then I'm completely fine with that. And is there anyone out there who can even follow a perfect routine 100% of the time? Create a home or drop zone. A long time ago, I've mentioned the importance of giving everything a home. But this time I'm gonna share a simple example of something I still do. There's a little area by the front door where I leave my wallet, sunglasses, and keys and lately even my phone. Whenever I walk through the front door, I clear what's in my pockets and immediately put it in what I call a drop zone. 
Not only does this keep my everyday carry organized, but it's always right by the front door when I need it. Because the only time I do need it is when I'm leaving. And I've also even given a shot at just leaving my phone here a majority of the time in an attempt to reduce the time I'm just randomly checking it. A drop zone could be by your front door, at your desk, or just your nightstand. The point of this is ultimately to create sort of a way to keep other areas clutter free without really even having to think about it. Handle each item once. I have an extremely annoying habit of picking things up and moving them around about a dozen times before I actually make the final decision as to what I'm going to do with it. I've had to fight the distractions that plague my decluttering sessions, and a few things that might seem like overkill, but I actually do, are these. I assess whatever it is by picking it up, evaluating its purpose, its usefulness, and even its sentimental value and just consider whether it aligns with my needs today. And I make that decision based on that little assessment and make a clear decision whether I should keep it, donate it, or sell it, or just discard it altogether. It also means I take immediate action once the decision is made. If I decide to keep something, I put it away in its designated home immediately. If I choose to donate or sell something, it's put in the box or bag that's off to donations. And if it's time to just throw something away, I throw it away responsibly. Like I said, if this seems like a little bit of an overanalysis, it's really because if I stick to this rule, it might be the very last time I ever see something, so I want to make sure I'm making careful and well thought decisions. Anyways, that's going to do for today. I really hope you got some value and can apply some of these into your own routines. Anyways, as always, I appreciate the time you spent here and I appreciate you watching. If you did like this video and you like this type of content, be sure to like and consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time.